whizzing around the Earth at around 28,000 kilometers per hour, 420 kilometers off the ground in the International Space Station certainly gives you a unique perspective on our planet. That view inspired European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti to dive into the Chinese classics as the ISS flew over parts of China this week. She quoted 4th century poet Wang Zijie's preface to poems composed at the Orchid Pavilion. Looking up, I see the immensity of the cosmos. Bowing my head, I look at the multitude of the world. The gaze flies, the heart expands, the joy of the senses can reach its peak. And indeed, this is true happiness. The text was accompanied by photos of China taken from the space station. Cristo Ferretti has been praised for her Chinese language skills. The Italian speaks half a dozen languages and has previously taken part in joint training between ESA and the China Manned Space Agency. Cristo Ferretti's return spacecraft splashed down off the coast of the US state of Florida. After a medical check, she was en route to a military base in Germany where the CGTN Europe team were waiting for her. European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti is back on terra firma here in Cologne. We'll be hoping to grab a few words with her about her time on the ISS after, of course, she said hello to her friends and family. I asked her why she chose that particular poem and if she was aware of the attention it had gained. I wish I could take credit for that. I have a good friend, an Italian, who has lived in China for 30 years. He's a sinologist, very, very um, uh, knowledgeable on uh, Chinese literature, and he suggested that to me, and uh, it sounded like a great uh, excerpt. So unfortunately, I cannot take credit for choosing it, but only for choosing a smart friend. <laughs> It is hoped that ESA astronauts will team up with their Chinese counterparts for joint missions at some point in the future. Samantha Cristoforetti has laid some groundwork for that. I mean, she is speaking very well Chinese uh, and uh, this tweet uh, certainly has, uh, has shown uh, that she can do this very well. But space is international and uh, there is no way to put a boundary in space because, first of all, the space station, the satellites, they fly around the Earth, they cross boundaries, they cross cultures, uh, they cross religions uh, and different divides also in terms of philosoph philosophy and, uh, and history. And I think this is something that should be, we should always be reminded that space is above everything, literally. While there may be many problems between nations here on Earth, in space, cooperation is strong. Peter Oliver, CGTN, Cologne, Germany.